Welcome to day 65 of the 100 day mindfulness challenge. My name is Miss Dear and today we are going to work on accepting difficult thoughts relating to change. Before we get started, a reminder that we're switching to our summer sessions next week. That means shorter sessions with a focus on practical activities, things that are going to keep you happy, kind, grateful, confident, and of course, mindful over the summer. If you're looking for the channel, just type my name, Miss Dear, that's S-T-E-E-R, into YouTube. Don't miss out on the chance to experience this summer holidays like you've never experienced it before in the present moment. See you soon. Of course, we've been looking at change all week because for many of us, whether we're at home or at school, it might be our last week before summer. And as we've said, that might well bring up some difficult thoughts and feelings. Remember last Friday's session? Here's the slide from the end of that session when we put down the different thoughts that we might have into what we can and cannot control. I guess the problem is that often, even when you do know that you cannot control certain things, we still find our thoughts pulled back to those things and worrying about the same things again and again. So what I really wanted to do here is to give you a little bit of a guided meditation that you can use now or over summer if these feelings come up and it'll just help you to really let go of the things that you can't control. Anyway, before I start waffling on, let's get right into it and we'll talk after. I'm sure you know the score by now, but if you don't, just a reminder, shoulders up towards your ears and squeeze. Feet on the floor, upright and awake posture please, but nice and relaxed at the same time. And when you're ready, allow your eyes to close. Let's begin by finding our breath. Where do you feel the breath the most? Stick your attention to that place. like to notice change in the breath. Notice how every breath is similar but different. No two breaths are ever quite the same. Now let your attention drift up to your head and I'd just like you to explore any feelings that are there in your forehead, in your scalp. I'd like you to slowly let that attention drift down from your head to your feet and check in with the different parts of your body on the way and I'd just like you to notice any feelings that come and go notice any changes in your body in the weather in your body Let your awareness grow now and allow the sounds in the room to come to you and see if you can notice how the sounds change and 
moment by moment. Notice how each moment, each second is unique and different from the one that came before it. It's natural to struggle with the thoughts and feelings relating to change. It's natural to want to cling on to things that we cannot control. But when we actually pay attention like this to what's inside of us and around us, maybe then we see just how much change has been happening all along and how much has already been outside of our control. Maybe then we see that we can let go of things that we can't control and we don't need things to stay still because we've been coping with change all this time, breath by breath, sound by sound moment by moment. How does it feel to know that you are ready coping? How does it feel to know that just like a tree, you can stand tall and stay rooted to the ground, even as the seasons and weather change constantly around you. Notice what it feels like to keep this thought, to save it and draw it close towards you. Before we end this meditation, take your attention to your breath, notice the weight of your body as you sit, notice your feet on the floor. And when you are ready, slowly open your eyes and come back into the room. Okay then, yesterday we listened to the sound of wind in the forest and noticed the changes in sound. Today I actually had you noticing the changes in your breath and your body as well as the sounds around you. So what did you notice? How often did things change outside of you and inside of you? Was there anything that surprised you? Can you think of changes that you've been through in the past that felt incredibly powerful and maybe difficult at the time, but very soon became easier? Maybe think back to how you felt in other years when you left your classes. Obviously, 2020 isn't quite the same, but it's very similar. How does it feel when you keep that thought that you have been through change and you did cope and you are still here even if at the time it felt really difficult and it maybe felt like you couldn't cope you know we've talked about binning thoughts and and saving thoughts maybe you want to choose some thoughts that you can keep calling back to the front of your mind so that when you do find yourself thinking or feeling something uncomfortable you can call upon that thought and have a look 
And that kind of leads into the last question. What could you do if any of these difficult thoughts or feelings do come up for summer? I've given you some advice there, but really this is down to you. And it really makes a difference to plan ahead for this so that we're not just waiting to have that wobble. We're not just waiting to have that sort of unpleasant feeling or thoughts. We're planning ahead so that we know if that happens, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try a lion breath. I am going to do that change meditation. I am going to go and listen to the sound of change in the weather outside. You know, whatever it is, it might be nothing that we've done together. It might be something that you have already in your head. Anyway, that is enough of me. I want you now to take some thinking time if you're on your own, maybe jot down some notes. Or if you're with other people, I want you to talk through these questions and answers and really think about this. This could make a big difference to how you feel over the summer holidays. So take as long as you need and I'll see you soon. Okay then, your last challenge before summer, your day 65 challenge. Woof! I don't know where the time has gone, but I am tired. Your challenge is to keep noticing the change in you and around you. So that might be changes in your breath one after another. It might be changes in the thoughts that pass through your mind, the ones that come back, the ones that don't. It might be the weather in your body that changes, the sensations and feelings that come and go. It might be the world around you in terms of what you see, touch, taste, smell, hear. Use that beginner's mind as if you are doing things for the first time, things that you've never done before, even if you've done them many, many times. And you might just find that there's a whole lot more change going on in the world and inside of you than you perhaps had realised. So maybe you'll find that you've been coping with a lot of change all this time without really noticing it. Extra challenge is to make a plan for summer. Whether it's things that you already know, things that you already do, things you already practice or things that you've learnt through some of our sessions here, does not matter. All I want is for you to have maybe three things that you know you can try if you feel that your mood is slipping downwards over summer. Having that plan in place so that you've got something to do is just going to really help because when those moves do hit in the moment, you're probably going to be using the emotional part of your brain rather than the, the thinking part of your brain. And so if you don't have something already there, it's likely that your emotions are going to sort of flood through your brain and you're not really going to be in a, a, a mental space where you can decide what action to take, meaning that you're probably going to feel worse. So have that plan in place and you'll be able to engage that prefrontal cortex where you do your thinking and take action to feel better. EBI with this and with anything else, share with other people what you're doing, jot down notes, write a journal over summer. Maybe you can notice different things mindfully and describe or draw what you see. That would be an absolutely lovely uh, project for summer. And it would probably make you feel really good to think about those things. As always, if there's anything you'd like more or less of, if there's any questions, any problems, then give an adult a nudge and they can share to Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. Details are on the screen. Just a reminder too that summer activities are starting next week. So they'll be slightly different, really short sessions, probably not going to see very much of me but we'll be doing kindness and I'll give you an activity to do every day that will keep you entertained and this week super kind and happy. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day, a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Mm -hmm.